currently moving into my new apartment, so I apologize for not really getting a chance to set up a cool background. Next week will be better. But today, I thought we'd talk about some of the worst deaths in music history. This is probably only part one of many of videos along this vein, um, but here are some of the five worst and most ridiculous deaths among composers. Ernst Chausson was a French composer who died one year short of the 20th century in a very bizarre and confusing accident. He was riding his bicycle down a hill when he crashed directly into a wall. The circumstances surrounding this event aren't very clear, but it doesn't appear that anyone pushed him towards that end or really did anything to impact his eventual outcome. His death may have been extreme, but at least it was probably quick. Jean-Baptiste Lully was a prominent French composer of the court of King Louis XIV. The Sun King, as Louis was nicknamed, was credited with the invention of ballet, and as such, he would often require his court composers to write music to accompany his ballets. Lully was in the process of conducting one of those pieces he had written when a tragic and seemingly insignificant accident occurred. During the 17th century, music was not performed with a cute little baton. It was instead performed with a massive staff and he would compose by banging this staff on the ground to create the beat. Lully was smacking his staff so hard that when he accidentally landed that staff on his foot, he punctured a hole in it. The wound was not properly treated and soon became infected, which eventually cost him his life. And that's where we get the term staff infection. JK. Definitely not. Hugo Wolf suffered from the affliction that plagues most men, women. Wolf had an affair with the wife of one of his patrons, and after that somehow contracted syphilis. This disease ravaged his mind until eventually he was placed into a mental institution after a failed suicide attempt. He was no longer able to compose, and he died alone and miserable. One could say he was sex crazed. Distler was a German composer born in 1908. He was having a grand old time being composer and he enjoyed some great success until the Second World War. A bunch of his friends died, he was having to deal with aerial attacks all the time, and he became increasingly at risk for being conscripted into the army himself. Unable to cope with the stress, he stuck his head into his oven and died of gas poisoning. I guess you could say he was half-baked. Maurice Ravel was a very famous French composer, well known for his melodies, orchestral works, and even his operas. He was doing very well until a freak taxi accident left him with a head injury. At the time, this injury didn't appear to be very serious, but afterwards he started exhibiting symptoms of severe head trauma. He soon lost the ability to compose any of the music that he typically heard in his head, and so he decided to undergo a very experimental brain surgery. Unfortunately, it wasn't successful. Perhaps Ben Franklin only had it half right. Nothing is certain except death and taxis. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something interesting, if not morbid, about these composers. If you enjoyed this, please let me know so that I can make a part two. As usual, the listening in this video will be placed below. Until next week, play it safe, guys. Music